are back, and I'm now here with Nicole Cardoza, um, the founder of Reclamation Ventures and Wellamental. So, Nicole, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, yeah, and we're, we're going to hold these mics up real close to our mouths because it's so loud here because we're having a bump in time. <laughs> um, again, thank you for being here. I wanted to follow up first on a couple of things I heard you mention in the talk. Um, you said, don't fall in love with an outcome. Um, particularly speaking about your work with yoga in schools and how when the pandemic happened, you know, it was just like, okay, now now what? And you were able to make that shift. So can you talk a little bit more about that and even just more of what you mean by don't fall in love with an outcome and maybe how we can adopt that mindset? Sure. I always had a vision of how I wanted my company to look and how I wanted it to scale. And I think that's really important as a founder to have that, like, high in the sky kind of vision yeah but we don't know what's going to happen we're not in control of the timeline and so um i found i've been trying to adopt a mentality of like just being in love with the progress and the journey um, without being too attached on how it shows up or attaching any kind of like oh none of this matters unless we get there yeah. um so that's been really helpful for me because Running a business is more about being in relationship with our audience and with our community than anything. And relationships are about what we do day in, day out, how we get to know one another, how we can support one another. And that's really the true value. Um, so that's what I've been trying to adopt is like, what does it look like to do the best that I can each and every day? Mm -hmm. And then we'll see what happens. I love that. And you perfectly segued into the next thing that I wanted to ask you about, which was you talked a lot about community, which now that we're back in Austin, in this, back in our community trying to sort of revitalize it, you mentioned the importance of relationship. I think it was singular the way you said it. And I just wanted to dig a little bit deeper into that and if, if your realization of the importance of relationship sort of came from that or if over the course of your life you've just always sort of focused on that in all that you do. Yeah, I, I mean, throughout my life I've been deeply grateful for the people that have supported me as, um, as a human. Uh, and as a business leader and who have able to open doors in that way. Um, I think what we've seen with the pandemic is how important relationships are to us and how being in relationship, is, how often we can take it for granted, do you know, to be yeah. next to one another, to be in a big group. Um, but we also saw that we're so interdependent on one another, right? Like my well-being, my health and well-being depends on you taking care of your health and well-being. We're, we're so reliant on one another, even if we're isolated. And so I think as we continue to build businesses as founders, it can feel really isolating and alienating. We're supposed to have all of the, like, the answers and yeah. we're doing it on our own. But in reality, we're just building more space for us to be in relationship with one another and helping other people do the same. Yeah. And if we take that moving forward, hopefully we build more sustainable businesses that really care about those in our that we're in relationship with, especially mm -hmm. those most marginalized, um, oh, and create a space where all of us can thrive, right? Yep. Because the idea that one of us wins and the rest of us suffer doesn't serve anybody long term. No, absolutely not. Um, and, and thank you for that. I have one really quick question before we move to a break. I stopped your Twitter right before we got oh, in here. And I recognize that you also hate conferences. So what yeah. can we do to embrace this conference that has returned to Austin? I did tweet that this morning, didn't I? I loved it. You know, I find sometimes the conferences are really overwhelming to me, yeah, right? Same. And I haven't done them for two years. Yeah. So um, I decided after I tweeted that, that I need to take this one day at a time and look for those moments where I can be one-on-one -on -one with somebody without feeling really overwhelmed with the, oh my gosh, there's 400 people looking at me while I'm talking, or there's this FOMO of trying to go everywhere and see everything. Like yeah. being in relationship takes time. And so going at your own pace and taking one interaction at a time and not worrying about the rest. That's what I'm trying at least. I am going to also try to do that because conferences are all very overwhelming and scary. <laughs> um, but let's try to embrace this one the best we can. Thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you. Uh, we're going to kick it over to Megan and uh, she's with Gay. So let's kick it over. <laughs> 